Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living or retirement worth having. I usually say this in my audio cast and in my sometimes short videos, but in truth, I'm looking at an apartment complex behind me that's been having a little bit of trouble with the youth. You see, there's an electronic door here that is allowing people access. It's a locked door. It allows people to come and go from the door. Last night, I was sitting out here underneath the beautiful stars and the wonderful moon and literally watching a little bit in between naps. And what I saw was two things. What I saw was a Muslim boy jumping the fence, and I've seen that across campus a lot of times, of Asians from foreign lands just ignoring the policies of our land, which says if you have not been brought in by someone who lives here, then you don't actually belong here. The second thing that I noticed was that a woman was coming out of a clearly party because there was 20, 30 kids that came out of that house and one young girl, probably a freshman and possibly a sophomore, was literally being carried out, dragged out by three men that were clearly a lot older than she was. Now hopefully their goal was to take her home. But you and I know what can happen on campus with colleges and college boys and the ideologies that may not be totally kosher. But I'm talking about a locked door. And a locked door means a locked door. It means you don't get to climb up over the thing just because you're too lazy to call your friend on your cell phone to say, hey, let me into the party or something. And maybe you're crashing the party because you know what's going on. But I don't know about you, but I don't like that here. In America, we have rights to be safe in our home. The parents who pay for their students here to live here or the young people that have been working their ass off to be able to stay in a nice place here deserve to have the right to safety and not having people jumping the fence ignoring the truth of life here.